But we're making the trip down to Yellowstone, and so we needed to make it stop to grab some snacks at no other place than Walmart. <laughs> Well, in Yellowstone, there is no place to buy drinks or snacks, so we wanted to make sure that we brought our own and to be able to grab some breakfast beforehand. We have a bacon and cheddar scone, which I've never heard of, and a veggie quiche as well. Veggie ham pie. We got a veggie ham pie, <laughs> and then I got the black coffee and you got the i got a maple latte whoa the drive from bozeman down to yellowstone is just under two hours and will take you through parts of montana and idaho yellowstone gets almost four million visitors per year so it can be busy and especially during the summertime we made it to yellowstone and you will need to pay a $35 entrance fee, or if you have a pass, then you can go on through. You can only stop now because there's a bison jam, which I'm assuming there's a bunch of bison that are either crossing the road or are holding things up, but we have made it to the park. Now we're gonna see some stuff, some geysers, see some stuff, some other stuff, and some stuff and stuff, you know. Just lost stuff. So, we waited 35 minutes in the bison jam to not even be able to see them. So, that was kind of a bummer. We did end up seeing the bison, yet there's still traffic, and it took us almost an hour to get from the entrance to where I'm going to show you on the map right now, which is kind of ridiculous. The park covers over 3,500 square miles. One thing while you are in Yellowstone or in a national park, you can't use a drone, so I won't be able to do any of that stuff while I'm here. But we've made it to the Norris Geyser Basin, which is a pool of little geysers, and obviously a basin there, so... And we'll go check it out right now. The whole area is pretty cool. We have like the tallest geyser as well. Steamboat Geyser is the tallest geyser in the world at 300 to 400 feet tall. We didn't see it get that high. The whole area is pretty cool. It looks like there's like a geyser and then there's different kinds of basins with different kind of hot springs. You can't go in them, but it's still pretty cool. Norris Geyser Basin is the hottest, the oldest, and the most dynamic in Yellowstone. You also have two basins there, which are the Back Basin and the Porcelain Basin. We went to the Canyon Falls area, which is different than the Grand Canyon, but there's a canyon with a waterfall, which is pretty cool. You're able to hike down to the waterfall if you want to, but because I'm in a boot, we're, we're gonna skip that option. Because of time constraints, we only spend a short amount of time at each of these stops, but I would highly recommend that you spend more time. Yellowstone is known for having moose, wolves, grizzly bears, and buffalo. Sometimes you run into traffic because people are just stopping to look at the bison, but other times traffic because there's bison that are on the road. Which provides for a pretty surreal experience. One of the most obvious tips I'll give you is when you come into a popular tourist destination, try to come as early as you can. And we're coming in the middle of the day and it's like crazy packed and we need to park on the street. But we're gonna walk it in and see how long that takes. You know the line isn't moving when a guy in a crutch is beating you. So that's kind of where we're at with them.
We were around the park, we actually hit the point where you no longer need to hunt out the bison. And they actually come right up to wherever you are at. them right there just chilling the grand prismatic is the largest hot springs in the united states and is the third largest in the world the internet tells me that it is 160 degrees in the springs while we were there, we were able to feel the steam which is coming off, and it is pretty warm. <laughs> the colors around the springs come from the microbial mass, which range in color from a green to red. Now I made it to Old Faithful, and the reason that it's called Old Faithful is because it goes off every this many amount of minutes. This number right here, that one. So let's hopefully we see it and go from there. I hope it's pretty cool, but I feel like it's gonna be very little and small. <laughs> we had break dance entertainment as we waited. You are able to look up online when they project that Olaf Faithful will go off, but it's kind of hard to get internet while in the park. <laughs> able to stick around to watch Old Faithful. We did see another geyser and I've seen Old Faithful in the past but it looks like so it's kind of cool kind of not that impressive so we didn't want to stick around because we had other stuff we needed to do. Full disclosure this day of traveling I do not recommend you do but we did it anyways. We still had a lot of things left to explore but we wanted to make our way down 10 miles south of Yellowstone to the Grand Teton National Park. The mountains are extremely impressive and had we had more time we would have loved to hike. We needed gas and food so we made our way down to Jackson. The town has a population of around 11,000 people and is extremely touristy. Whether people are coming in the winters to ski or in the summers for the national parks. At the town square is iconic for featuring the arches of shed antlers from a nearby national elk refuge. Uh, we went to Jackson or to Jackson Hole. I'm not quite sure what the name actually is. And then it is like an hour and a half away from Yellowstone, which is a small little mountain town. We got some pizza, we're gonna grab some ice cream, and then head back to Bozeman, which is gonna be like a long drive. But with a drive back, we avoided the park, but it was kind of cool because we got to see the back side of the Tetons. And just like that, 16 hours later, we have returned to the wonderful comfort inn of Bozeman. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a better idea of what to do in. Yellowstone National Park and if you want to see other travel destinations then you can check out my channel page or and there's a link down in the description for some travel articles and if you want to be around for when I post my next video do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time